What is going on, everybody? The market is bleeding red right now. You might be asking yourself, well, Bleeves, you said that it was going to pump, right? And I did say it was going to pump, and I gave you the structure of the chart, and I gave you all of those different things because I'm always right. Now, you might be saying to yourself at this point, we're not always right because you said it was going to pump, and you said it was going to go way up. And I'm going to say, uh, want to bet? Because if you want to bet, then how about Terra Casino for all of your risk-based gaming needs? You can... You can earn Lunk, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, uh, BUSD, USDC, USDT, or Dogecoin. You can win, you can use that for your risk-based gaming. And in fact, this is one of the biggest burn projects in all of the Luna Classic community. So make sure that you check it out today. So today we're going to talk about the settlement with Luna Terraform Labs, the closure of Terraform Labs. The biggest actor, in my opinion, that was moving against Luna Classic was Terraform Labs and the Luna Project. The reason that I think that was because we found out that they were paying people um, that had the same name as some of our validators uh, ridiculous amounts of money in order to vote against what would be the most popular, better interest. Now, are they being conservative in their approach? Are they are they are they making theirs based on some sort of mechanism or something like that? Some kind of I don't know the answer to that. What I know is what I see, and what I see is these guys were getting money and they were voting against the community. And they can always say, well, we were doing it for your better interest, but that's not exactly how this works. Um, you, val you give these people uh, your Luna Classic in order to validate and to secure the blockchain, and what they're doing is they're voting against you. So I don't like them, and I don't mind saying that. Uh, but if you like them, continue to, to delegate with them. If, if they're not voting in your interest, then delegate with somebody else. It's pretty simple. It's really, really that simple. So let's break all this down. Make sure you check out Terra Casino. Make sure you check out Terraport. Uh, .finance if you're looking to buy some meme coins, stuff like that. Coin Hall also, also will help you, but we want to use Terraport. We want to use Terra Casino here because that's what we do. Okay, dog? All right, let's kick it off and let's talk about some, some, uh, let's talk about some stuff. Okay, in the broader news, uh, Terraform Labs, this is the, the settlement mandates for the closure of Terraform Labs. Uh, Terraform Labs and Quan will pay $4.5 billion in disgorgement and civil penalties. They are permanently prohibited from trading all crypto asset securities, including the Terra ecosystem tokens. The agreement follows a civil fraud finding against Terraform Labs and Quan related to the collapse of the Terra ecosystem in May of 2022, which resulted in significant financial loss for investors. Officials from the F SEC emphasize that the economic substance of the product determines its classification under security laws, highlighting the impact of non-compliance on investors. The settlement, which is final and not subject to appeal, concludes a legal battle that includes resistance from the Terraform Labs and Quant against investigative efforts, culminating in their agreement to the SEC's revised offer of $4.5 billion USD. Uh, Quant, currently detained in Montenegro pending extradition, was not present during the settlement agreement. Terraform Labs, operating under Chapter 11 bankruptcy, faces financial uncertainty regarding the payment of the imposed fine with reported assets of approximately $150 million. There's no way that they can pay. Now, the reason that I think that this is a big deal is because the the, the I think this is the the... The SEC wanted a very high penalty, and they look, we understand you can't pay it, but we want this to be very high. Why do they want it to be very high? Because they're attacking Ripple and XRP. So that's why I think that they agreed to this high amount. I think the Terraform Labs, not colluding, but they're they're helping the SEC uh, continue to demand high dollars from um, from from crypto companies, that's I think a, a fix that they're they're using, and the amount of course doesn't matter because they can't pay that amount anyway. They only have 150 million assets. According to the Financial Times, between April of 2018 and May of 2022, Terraform and Quan raised billions of dollars from investors by selling a number of interlinked digital securities, many of which were not properly registered with regulators, according to the SEC's complaint. Among those assets was TerraUSD, which is the stablecoin uh, stablecoin Quan invented. It crashed in 2022 alongside associated token Luna and sent ripples through the crypto sector. Ripples? Oh, that's funny. Uh, Quan is wanted by the U.S. and South Korean authorities on separate criminal charges, but remains in Montenegro amid a legal fight over his extradition. Quan and his business are among the once high-flying crypto companies and executives targeted by the U.S. authorities who say they are protecting investors according to the FT. Now, uh, FT, by the way, Financial Times. So uh, we, we have a little bit of clarity, and we know, by the way, that during this process, uh, Terraform Labs is going to be required to burn $270 billion 
Luna Classic, and uh, a couple hundred million of USTC. Now that's going to help tremendously on chart and price action. Very bullish sentiment right now. Uh, if you could just consider how much we've burned so far and you look at the total lump burn, 116.67 billion. This is double what we've burned in two years on steroids, in fact, because this is going to be double this is a, a 233 million, 233 billion, sorry. Uh, we're going to burn 274 billion in one fell swoop. And then all nodes makes that report. The the supply it greatly diminishes. You know, things look way better. It's, it's much more rosy a path when we start to see some significant burn. So we're looking for that to happen. Uh, let's move on. None of this news that's been coming out for the last 24 hours is genuine, okay? I want you to understand the reason that everything is in red today is because this is a bleeding crypto. Uh, we've been three days now. We've, we've pretty much been bleeding. Um, we, we've had a little pump, a little recovery, but generally speaking, there's no narrative out here. There's no uh, there's no impetus right now pushing crypto uh, to, to, to further adoption or anything like that. There's a pause right now. And that pause, by the way, is something that does happen from time to time, and uh, it's really affecting altcoins dramatically right now i think uh, ustc is down like 15 percent today um while terra luna classic is, is uh i want to say seven percent at this point really the charts in just a few moments but you know there's a lot going on in the background so um as far as uh the commonwealth i suggest you go over here and look it's lunk etoro community 23 i'm not exactly sure who this is but it says, dear community, do you actually know that some validators act like they're high nobility because discuss behind closed doors? Well, of course they do. That's how you negotiate and that's how you work in the background with your peers. Uh, corporate business meetings, um, uh, community meetings, they're, they're not done in front of everybody. It's, it's, this is weird already. Avoid public confrontation. Trying to establish a court with a retinue like in the Middle Ages which is nonsense because everything that's done is put up for a vote by validators and by the community. So none of this is real. This is just somebody who doesn't like not knowing everything that everybody's doing, I assume. Let us, shall we please ourselves? Uh, for my part, I say no. I say no to this. No validator has the right to decide on community ideas. Yes, they do. They have the right to decide on community ideas. Implementing them is what they don't have the right to do. But nothing is being done without a vote process. No validator is allowed to carry out disinformation campaign without evidence or reasons. Yes, they are, because we're free to speak whatever we think, even if we're wrong. Uh, no false news is allowed to spread. Yes, it is. Have you not paid attention to the world? No validator is allowed to act as if he were a little king. Yes, they are. They are, in fact, able to act like they're a little king uh, or a little fiefdom, if you will. Um, because you can pretend all you want. There's still a vote process underway. So none of this is real. This is no va There is no validator above the community. If there is a problem, we will clarify it openly and honestly like a community. Uh, no, we won't. I don't need to know about your fight or my fight. None of your business what I'm fighting with somebody behind closed doors about. You don't, you're not entitled to that information. What you're entitled to is community voting. If I go as a validator to another validator and four or five of us as validators get together and we say, hey, like we'd like to do this. We want to put this up for a community proposal. Then we put it up for a community proposal. That is the way that it works, whether you like it or not, and you don't have any say in it. If you don't like it, then you can put up your own proposal, but you're not entitled to be in my business. You're not entitled to be in their business. You're not entitled to be any in anybody's business. You're entitled to vote on, um, or you, by the way, can put up your own votes, uh, but you're entitled to vote uh, and say your piece. That's it. So... Take that as a warning shot. You as validators have a task and duty to deliver. Nobody cares how many subscribers they have. Nobody cares what unsubstantiated facts they put forward just to have a big mouth. We only care about one thing, the progress and the goal, the goal revival. This goal stands above all, especially those who act as if they are there for us, which they are not. Now, for a guy that I don't agree with, I 100% agree with this. But those people, those Jesus's Lord assholes who are uh, basically ripping the community off, in my opinion, they're still entitled to whatever it is that they want to do. They're still entitled to it. And if it's my responsibility to defend them, even though I don't like them, that's what I do. That's what freedom is about. So I'm, I'm going to defend them. Um, without us, they are nothing. That's true. 
Uh, so those who feel uh, who feel addressed think about whether they have want to make the open path. I assume English, not the first language, but he's pretty good at it. Uh, they want to take the open path. It can be a game changer for their future. They are being watched. They don't have a majority. Thank you. Uh, nobody gives a shit about this. No, nobody. This this is just this is just this is sour grapes. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what to say about it. Let's look at price action. All right. So. Um, now, we wicked way down by comparison. Remember, I told you we had a wick here and it bounced back immediately coming back up to 10.5. Well, then we rejected even further down. Now, what is going on? Overall, the market down about $65 billion. Uh, European market, Asian market, everybody kind of backing out. Uh, if you look at things like Dog with Hat, these are general ideas about where price action is going. Uh, Dog with Hat down 11%, Miro down 12%, Sui down 11%. Render all the way down to seven dollars, down nine percent. Uh, you know, everything really just kind of bleeding. Uh, these are alts that are just really coming down, coming down very, very hard. Now, why are they coming down so hard? Well, um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to speculate here again, and I'm going to say that there's no narrative. You know, at the first in the first quarter, it was the Bitcoin ETFs in this in in. The second quarter and getting through the second quarter there was two things. There was there was meme coins and then there was real world assets and then we started to see deep end but it never really took off. Those narratives were kind of propelling us forward. Well, guess what? None of that's happening right now. The only thing happening right now really is Bitcoin and meme coins. Everything else is getting stagnant and stale. But this is the shakeout before the breakout. I think we should at, at least be honest enough to recognize that sometimes you know, that's what we see. We see the the, the quote unquote shakeout before the breakout. So everything is down significantly today. Venture capital companies pulling their money out because they see, you know, the market's not pumping. Uh, it's going to take Bitcoin to save us all. So, um, you know, and, and I don't mean to make this not a Bitcoin rant, but, you know, Bitcoin, until Bitcoin comes down really and tests the bottom of this range here, about 63,000, then we're probably still going to feel that pressure. This is what it looks like every day. You can see here since, uh, which is Saturday, June 8th. So for eight days now, we just kind of, uh, or 10 days now, we just kind of drip, 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 down, 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 down. Well, when you look at that, it's the same thing's happening over here on Luna Classic. So uh, we're correlating with Bitcoin. So right now, what we're looking for is an expectation that maybe perhaps Bitcoin will be um, the, the quote unquote savior, if you will. And by the way, uh, remember this green line I gave you not that long ago? Well, you know, if I pull this down here, you're still seeing the same thing, by the way. So, you know, we can at least look at this. And, you know, if I move this just slightly here and say, well, you know what? We've broken that kind of support structure right there. And if we do this right here, it's still kind of in place. You know, what we're looking at is still in line. Uh, it's just the dip is a little bit more dip than we thought the dip would dip. So, uh, and, and I, I didn't have any purpose other than wanting to say dip a bunch of times, by the way. So, uh, so now the reversal starts to take place and we're going to remove the fib because the fib no longer applies to this, uh, to this move. Now, if we consider that at least, then let's, uh, uh, we could do a, let's do a fib on this move here from here down to here. That's the impulse move, right? So I would expect to see a correction right here up to at least 10.1 coming pretty soon. Uh, that that would, to me, seem like, I'm going to put that right there. So that's going to be the spot, in my opinion, where we're going to end up uh, in a uh, in, in a swift reversal. 10, 000, uh, it's 10,001, by the way. Uh, we'll have to move it around just a little bit to get you an idea. But 10,153 uh, from, you know, this, this impulse move. So I, I would consider that that's probably where we're going to go because I think up is still the answer. And then, of course, that means that, you know, we're going to have a breakout into 13 or 14 at some point. So uh, just consider that that's most likely what's going to happen. Now, over on Coin Hall, uh, you can see here, again, these guys, these these are still dipping pretty hard. Rack off down 10%, CNIP down 18%. Uh, Roddy down 2%, LMT up 500%, Tutankhamen Common still continuing uh, to surge up 43% on the day. Low volume, by the way. You know, that's the, that's the thing about it. Uh, only got a market cap of 100,000. Um, you got nine days before the contest is over. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away 100,000 USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today, and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD. Pepe. 
this is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it. Four eight eight eighty eight thousand uh, total fair dollar market, but liquidity thirty four thousand. But just you know, continuing to have a nice little surge. I mean, you know, um, Tudin Common is belying everything. There's not a lot of money in it, but it's still having a, a nice little rip. So I would encourage you to go check it out. As far as uh, voting, uh, Genuine Labs tax to gas implementation is here. So we got about five weeks for implementation. So that's going to be very very interesting to see how it plays out. Volume down. Um, significantly, uh, market cap down 6% right now, Terra Classic uh, uh, USTC down 15% here, volume continuing to decline. Uh, now, the other thing is, if you are interested, the Lunk Army will have genuine labs on Lunk Live, Friday, June 21st at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're going to discuss the latest upgrades to the Luna Classic blockchain, future developments, and answer questions from the community. If you're not able to attend, I would highly encourage you, if you're actually one of those people who likes to make posts on Commonwealth crying about something, then you know, th there's an opportunity here for you to go in and listen to see you know what it is that these guys are doing, and and you know if you want to maybe walk up there and have your opinion heard. I mean maybe you know I don't know, uh, but we'll see. As far as everybody how they voted, you can go to uh, Lunk Dash. You can check out how everybody voted. I won't, I won't belie this. This is a sweep. Everybody won. Uh, burning 280, 230 <clears throat> million over the course of the last seven days. But remember, this is the number right here, 274 billion more added onto this. And then suddenly we've got a, a pretty significant, that's a, that's not, that's not a seismic shift, but that is a, a big amount. And it applies to USTC too. Uh, now, uh, to talk about the one for the day, we're going to talk about cremation coin. Uh, cremation coin, uh, for those of you that don't know, crem cremation coin is one of those projects that are looking to burn Luna Classic. And when I come to the top burners, when I, I take the list of top burners, uh, it is number six overall, having burned 440 uh, million tokens over this period of time. And they are just had uh, an, uh, a, a vote. What should we do? This poll is simply to gauge sentiment. And what they're wanting to do is cremation coin on BSC and cremation coin in Lunk. For those of you that don't know, cremation coin BSC was, you know, we originally, um, when when Lunk was, you know, tradable, because it was very hard to, to find Lunk, there was a, a wormhole that was created on the BSC side so people could trade Luna Classic through that. And, you know, so they created a cremation coin over there too. So a uh, significant amount of burn available there. So um, uh, the, the votes were that we're going to find a way to merge this together. So we'll, we'll be keeping an eye on it and see what they do. Uh, as far as if you're looking for cremation coin, then it's at cremation underscore coin on Twitter. So if you are interested and so inclined and you want to help do your part to help burn, then there's, you know, multiple ways that you can do it. There's Terra Casino. If you want to do, uh, if you want to do some risk-based gaming and earn some yield, uh, and then there's Terraport Finance, and then there's Cremation Coin. Um, as a matter of fact, Cremation Coin available on Terraport.finance. So uh, if you are looking for, and by the way, uh, Cremation Coin is also brought to you by the same people that did Lenny Lunk. So uh, if you are interested, and remember we did a uh, we did a promo for that a long time ago. So. If you're interested and so inclined, then you can certainly check that out. If you click on the link tree over here, then it gives you a list right here of stuff. Uh, Twitter, Telegram, Cremation, Lunk, Chart, Buy on CoinHaul. Uh, then here's how you can buy it on TerraSwap. And then here's the chart on Dex Tools. This is the BSC chart, the one that I was telling you about. Um, and, and I mean, you can, you can certainly come over here and check it out. Uh, low market cap, they wanted to get this out because, you know, this had its run, if you, if you remember here, this is in November of 2022. So this had uh, a fantastic run for a long period of time. Uh, but you know, has its time really kind of expired a little bit? You know what I mean? Like it had a massive spike when there was some real interest in the revival process, which is why we were able to burn so many tokens. So, uh, but I would encourage you, you know, let's merge these things back together and let's, you know, figure out a path forward. And then finally, if you are interested, then you can go to the website. Once you get to the website, you can then get the white paper. Uh, and then the white paper gives you exactly what this is. What's the mission? Cremation Coin's mission is simple. Reduce the supply of cryptocurrencies that have outrageously high total supplies. By doing this, a targeted coin should naturally see a rise in value. The higher the taxable volume of Cremation Coin, the more we will burn. Due to the mass devastation caused by the UST DPEG event, our first target coin will be Terra Classic and USTC. So you know that's the purpose. That's the reason for it. And then here's the tokenomics. 8% tax on all transactions, which you know, this is very difficult right now when you're in a market where every dollar counts. 
counts and every dollar counts in this market right now except bitcoin maybe solana stuff like that but, but solana is down to 130 dollars right now so you know it was 211 dollars just a few short weeks ago so um you know this the the, the taxable tokens uh probably you know kind of um a difficult proposition if you will at this point because there's so many zero tax tokens where you can just make pumps and stuff like that this is a community service if you're part of this if you want to be part of this community service then you know buy yourself some cremation coin uh hold on to it help the process uh but but go check the roadmap go check um the completion go check all of this stuff and decide if this is the investment for you and if it is then I would encourage you to become part of it so that we don't have all these red days. And the red doesn't mean burn, by the way. It means that price go down. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Go check out Cremation Coin. Certainly go check out Terra Casino and Terraport.finance uh, if you are looking to do some trading. And then, of course, Coin Hall is another place where you can go for anything not listed on Terraport and Terraport V3 coming at you uh, a lot sooner than you might think, by, by the way. It's being worked on. So that being said, guys, it's not financial advice. Before you do anything that I'm talking about over here, before you, I certainly don't want you to take my opinion. I'm giving you nothing more than my opinion. Do your own research on each and every one of these projects. Decide whether this is the path that you want to take. And if it is, go ahead and ape into it. Do your uh, DCA your way through uh, or whatever it is that you do in your investments. But don't do it because of me. I'm just the talking head over here telling you what I think. It's up to you to perform your due diligence and figure it out. Remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right. Have a good day. We'll talk to you again soon.